Hey what's going on guys, IO Studios here for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a uh, human skin material. So um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, this tutorial was actually suggested by a subscriber by the way. So um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, just leave a comment and I will try to make it happen. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create um, shader C4D Octane, Octane Material. So we're going to make a new Octane Material, grab an image texture, plug it into our diffuse, and our bump. And uh, we're gonna make this a glossy material, and we're gonna go to our um, uh, index if I can find it. There, oh, we're on our index right there. And we're gonna do about 1.5, and roughness. We're gonna increase that to a very large amount, something like um, I'll try 0. 0. 0.3. I think that's good enough. That's good enough. Uh, and in our image texture here, I'm going to load in a human skin material, which I will leave in the description. I'll leave an imager link, and you can just right-click the image and um, save as. So skin, there we go. And this is just our skin material. And, um, you know, if you're making a very basic skin material, you'd be done right now. But uh, we're not making a very basic skin material. We're going to make it a bit more advanced than that. So um, basically, when, uh, when light hits skin, it doesn't go just to hit the skin and then stop there. It actually goes inside, bounces around a bit, and comes back out. And it's a different color because of all their blood and red stuff in there. So um, we're going to need something called subsurface scattering. And if you've watched some of my previous tutorials, and you know what it is, but uh, let's get started um, with that. On So uh, subsurface scattering is a bit different in Octane than it is in normal Cinema 40. So let's get started with that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a shader, C4D Octane, Octane Material. And we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to make this a, uh, let's see here, a specular material. And we're going to bring up the index to about two, maybe one, ah, we'll do 1.5. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our, let's see here, let's go to the side here, and I need to grab a medium, a scattering, a scattering medium it's called. I'm going to go scattering medium. We're going to drag that into our medium here, and um, we're going to set the density to about eight, uh, anywhere between six and eight is, is generally good for skin. Um, and we're going to also grab a RGB spectrum. We're going to plug it into our scattering and uh, absorption things there. And we're going to color this a nice deep red. Just like that. Alright. Like so. And also this thing doesn't work if you don't have any roughness. So we're going to add quite a bit of roughness. Uh, if we can find it here. Uh, roughness. There we go. We'll try 0.25. Maybe 0.4. I think we'll try 0.5. Yeah, I think we'll do 0 0.5. That's probably pretty good. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to have RGB Spectrum. <clears throat> we're going to plug it into our roughness. We're going to add another nice deep red um, for our roughness here. Deep red color. Let's see here. <clears throat> no, maybe we're not going to use the color for the roughness. Never mind. Um, we're only going to use a color for the reflection. And reflections, which we will very subtly color red. So, um, kind of dark, subtle... Not too much, just like that. Let me change it a bit, um, color the reflections a bit. <clears throat> and we're also going to go ahead and grab an RGB spectrum for the transmission, because we're, this is quite key, actually. Um, and I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, change the transmission, it will make it like much more of the deep red subsurface scattering that is what I'm looking for. So I'll make it, let's see here, I'll tweak it a bit. I don't want it to be too bright or too dark. I think just like that is probably good enough. Um, and let's see here. We're not going to change anything more here. I think we're done here. That's our subsurface scattering. So yeah, it wasn't that hard to make subsurface scattering. It's not super hard. It's just, um, you gotta know what you're doing. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two materials using a shader octane um, mix material. And a mix material just allows you to mix two materials together. So we're going to drag uh, our first material and our second material in there. And we're going to do a mix of about 0 0.85. Um, oops, maybe we should do 0 0.15. There we go. Uh, there we go, like that. And uh, this looks like a mess right here. I'm not going to go around. I guess I'll go around. Ah, I'll fix this mess a bit. I'll fix this mess a bit. There we go. Just like that. And that uh, looks pretty decent. Okay, that's our skin material for us. Now we're going to make the scene. Um, so, uh, channel path tracing. Um, path tracing. And we're going to go ahead and turn up our parallel and max tile samples quite a bit. And settings, render priority high. Make sure you have it there. By default, it's on low. Make sure you have it on high. Post-processing, nope, nope, nope. We're going to leave all this as it is. Um, we'll make tweak some of that later. We'll see. 
Uh, so we're gonna get started. And I think for the demo of the material, I think we'll use a um, we'll use a sphere. Honestly, it's it's always simpler. An um, old faithful sphere. Sixty four segments. Apply our mixed material to that. Let's uh, fire up blockchain here. How does this look? It actually doesn't look too bad. And um, I'll tile it about fifty. I want the creases and stuff like that, like here, for example. I want this to be visible, but not like too, too prominent. Just like that, and we will grab our um, octane camera and position it right there. And um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a. We're gonna do a few things. We're not gonna do any kind of fancy lighting. Um, well, we're gonna grab texture environment. Maybe we'll do some kind of lighting here. Um, click on that. It's your main. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, we're just gonna color this completely black, and we'll make this our visible environment. There we go. Nope, I'm inside my octane camera. We're gonna make that our visible environment. Um, and we're gonna make a new. Uh, let's see here. HDRI environment, and we're gonna open it up. I'm not sure what we should use. Here, textures. Um, what should I use? Um, I use some lighting. I'll, I'll use a um, studio lighting HDR. HDRI, I mean. I'll use studio 12. How does that look? Let's go over here. That looks okay. I'm gonna try a different one here. Try the number three. I think that's uh, that's that's decent. It, it doesn't have to be perfect lighting and whatever, right? And we're gonna increase the segments on the sphere actually to a hundred, just like that. And now let me show you the reason for this um subsurface scatter. Actually, we'll go and rename these right now. Um, call this rename. We call this SSSS, and we'll call this um base, and we'll call this one. Oops, did not mean to open up my taskbar there. Call this one um, skin. There we go. Now we've renamed them a bit. Okay, so let me show you the difference um, that the subsurface scattering really makes. So um, we have that right there, and I'm going to grab a compare uh, store render buffer, and I'm going to go ahead and plug in um, just our base material. So if we were just just to use our base material, I want to show you um, the difference. So you know, this is just our base material. It looks kind of glossy it's okay but it's not as good as with this right it's just it darkens it a bit i guess subsurf it's just subsurface scattering right and it um makes it more realistic because it's what it's like in real life uh anyway let me just turn off my a b compare there and um apply our normal material there we go um so that's that yeah i mean if you guys want to you can probably tweak the camera imager here that's a natural response Natural response, yeah, eh, I'm not going to leave that on right now. And yet, ain't that's something left best left for um, post processing? Actually, maybe, yeah. We'll, no, you know what? We'll leave a bit here. Mm, yeah, we'll do a bit of vignetting, not too much though at all. Um, and that's all we're going to do for here. I think that's yeah, that, that's it. I think. Um, let's just see here. Maybe zoom out a bit. And um, yeah, that's the skin material. It's not too complicated. I mean, this is a very this is a pretty simple one, I guess. Um, you know, you can get much more advanced, much more advanced um, using more um, physically based maps and stuff like that. But this is just a very simple one um, to get you started. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a like. To, um, leave a like to sub. Oh, sorry. <laughs> leave a like and subscribe to my channel to support me. And, um, yeah, this video was completely made off suggestion by a subscriber. So, if you guys have any suggestions, just leave a comment and I'll make it happen. Um, so, yeah, thanks, guys, for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye.